This is a brief tutorial on manually editing your time station entries. To edit time station entries, you must log into your personal time station account. You can do this by opening a web browser. In the URL box, type time station, all one word, and press go. Then select login and enter your login information. If you don't know your login information, click forgot password and follow the prompts to reset your password. Once you've got that information, go ahead and key it into the blank boxes. Click log in and then you see at your account home page that shows recent activity. We want to edit one of our punches and we do this by selecting activity in the upper left corner. We're going to edit the second entry under employee activity on Friday June 20th where we clocked in at 1 p.m. and clocked out at 7 p.m. We do this by pressing the edit button on the far right. It looks like a notepad and pencil. In this case we actually meant to clock in at 12.30 p.m. but forgot to do so until 1 p.m. To fix this we simply press the drop down arrow and choose 12 o'clock, drop down arrow again, 30, so we now have the time clock in set at 12.30 p.m. Any changes that we make we need to make notes to accompany them. In this case, I forgot to clock in, so I'm going to make a note. And I'm also going to include my initials. That way, anyone that looks at this will be able to tell that I'm the one that made this adjustment. And we click Save. And you can see our second entry now has us clocking in at 12.30 p.m. and clocking out at 7 p.m. Another common issue is when someone forgets to clock in altogether. If this occurs, we simply create a manual punch. In the upper left corner, press the Create Manual Punch button. We're going to choose the clock in time. In this case, we clocked in at 6 o'clock a.m. on Sunday, June 15th, and we clocked out at 2 p.m. on Sunday, June 15th, and then we choose which department. In this case, we're going to choose the work order number that we were working under, and then we are also going to make notes. <coughs> Here again, we forgot to clock in. We want to include our initials and click Create Manual Punch. And you can see several lines down under our activity is our new punch where we clocked in on Sunday, June 15th at 6 a.m. and clocked out at 2 p.m. Another common thing that needs to be adjusted is lunch. Time Station automatically deducts 30 minutes for lunch anytime you work 8 hours or more at one time. However, we just created a manual punch where we worked less than 8 hours. So we want to go in and manually deduct a lunch. We do so by clicking the edit button to the far right and under deduction where it's currently set to auto, we click the drop down arrow, choose 30 minutes. You can see the type automatically goes to lunch. And again, we need to make a note. We're going to hit return, start a new line, and type in manual lunch deduction.
also we're going to include our initials and we do this because lead technicians are also going to be making manual adjustments for their helpers people working under them so if you're making adjustments in somebody else's account it's important that the person actually making the adjustment puts their initials once we're finished go ahead and click save and if you look at that particular entry for Sunday, June 15th, it now has a deduction of 0.5 hours for lunch. That's how you make manual adjustments to your time station account. When you're finished, in the upper right corner, you're going to press log off, and you're now logged out of the account. Thanks for watching.